So um, this week, as the worked example question, I'm going to do which of these fractions is closer to a half. So this is slightly trickier than um, some of the examples that are given in the study guide, but it still involves essentially the same steps. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is find a representation of a half that allows me to find out how far away each of these fractions are. So in the first case, what I need is an equivalent fraction to a half with a denominator of 64. So since um, 32 is half of 64, <coughs> I have that 1 half is equal to 32 on 64. So from this, I can then straight away see that um, if I do the subtraction here, 35 minus 32, that 35 on 64 is exactly 3 64ths away from a half. Um, with this fraction here, since it's got an odd denominator, there's no equivalent fraction for a half that has denominator as 35. So what I first do is I just double it so that the denominator becomes even. So that gives me 32 on 70. <clears throat> and then so now I'm looking for the equivalent fraction that has 70 as its denominator. And in this case, half of 70 is 35, and so I get that a half is equal to 35 on 70. <clears throat> and here, when I look at the difference between these two fractions, um, I again get a difference of 3 in the numerators, although this number is smaller than a half, while you saw that this number is larger than a half. So 3, and then over my 70. So now I'm asking which of these numbers are smaller. So 35 and 64 is 3 64ths away from a half, whereas 16 on 35 is 3 seventieths away from a half. So when I'm talking about a way, I'm thinking of the fractions as representing a distance, and so the smaller distance represents that closeness to a half. <clears throat> and so since they've got the same numerator, I can compare these fractions in terms of their denominators. So the denominator with a fraction represents, you know, in the parts whole view, it represents how big the pieces are. In the division view, it represents um, how you know, large a number we're dividing into, or dividing a number by. So <clears throat> in this case, um, I can see that 70ths are smaller than 64ths. As the denominators get larger, the number, the fraction, um, represents a smaller number. So first, I reason that 1 on 70 is smaller than 1 on 64. And so it follows directly from that that 3 on 70 is smaller than 3 on 64. And then my final step is to say, therefore, 16 on 35 is closer to a half. <clears throat> and so the basic elements of working through this sort of problem, firstly, finding um, a, an equivalent fraction for a half so that we can determine exactly how far away these numbers are, and then comparing these two numbers based on the relationship with denominators. Um, yeah, okay?